Hey, what's up, guys? It's 2K Tim, and welcome to my WWE Hell in a Cell reaction to October 25th, 2015. And today's show was great. Not really. No, it wasn't. Only two matches were great, and that's it. Actually, three matches were great. Besides that, everything else just was just not was just a waste of time. So we had John Cena to start off the show with the U.S. Open Challenge, and guess who comes out? Zeb Coulter. Zeb Coulter. What? Out of all people, why? Zeb Coulter comes out. Talking about people don't like John Cena. There, he, did, he didn't really need to establish that because it's been like that for 10 years. So we, he didn't really need to bring that up. That's information that we didn't need to discuss. But in, anyways, then he said, allow me to introduce to you Alberto De Rio. I'm like, what the fuck? De Rio came back. De Rio is back. And then they came. They had a match. Cena got hit with the super kick, and then one, two, three. We have a new United States champion, and I can't remember the last time a Mexican was United States champion. The only one I brought, I can only think of, is Eddie Guerrero, and. When Del Rio came back, I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. So you left. You went, you left after August 2014. You went to Lucha Underground. You had fun there. You went to Ring of Honor. And then now you're back onto the main stage. And now you're US champ. What the hell? So bye bye, John Cena. You go take your break now. So you have a new champ. And that's a great way to start the show. The second match on the night was Bray Wyatt versus Roman Reigns inside Hell in the Cell and that match was brutal and it was awesome. I can't believe I'm saying that for a Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt match. That was awesome. Between them two and the Hell in the Cell with tables, candlestick, chairs, oh my god, that match was just was just the ingredients to success. That match was freaking awesome. And then like, like, the spear, like, running off the apron, spearing Wyatt through the table on the side. Wyatt one-arm slamming uh, Roman Reigns through the table. Like, it was just ma it was just nasty. Putting Roman through the candlestick, breaking the candlestick in half. Roman putting uh, Bray Wyatt through the, the chair that was hanging off the cell. It was just, that match was just brilliant. That match was just so good. I might watch it again. That's how good it was. So we had the Dio's match. <sighs> oh my god. This match completely was a waste of my time. Because I knew Nikki Bella was going to lose. I knew Charlotte was going to win. And and Paige and, and Becky... Coming out, hugging Charlotte. You can't do that in the fucking backstage area. We don't need this in the ring. Come on. Oh my god. Uh, that match was just painful to watch. I mean, I love Charlotte. I hate Nikki. I was just not in the mood. I'm in the mood for that video game though. But I'm not I'm not in the mood for the Divas match. That was just bad. Um, It was a good match. I just wasn't into it. Kevin Owens against Ryback. Oh my god, that match too. Oh my god, Lord help this people. That match, uh, I like Kevin Owens and I'm loyal to Ryback. It's just, it was pl it was blatantly obvious that Ryback was going to lose. And of course, Kevin Owens pokes him in the eye and hits him with the worst looking power pop up power bomb I've ever seen. Thank you, Ryback. I, I, I'm sorry, to, I'm sorry to rip on you, Ryback, but that was, that was, that, that, that sell sucked, but I'm just saying, that match, it was like, okay, it was better than the Divas match, because at least I like both competitors, not one, 
So if I hated both the, the both both of the divas, oh, and I said and I said this to myself. Look at what the divas division come to. That divas revolution lasted over two months, and now it's gone. Just like Justin uh, Timberlake and and uh, T.I. once said, it's dead and it's gone. It's dead and gone. So Team 3D, the Dudley Boys against New Day. And here's the thing. It was an awesome match. I was actually looking forward to uh, hopefully New Day, or I mean Team 3D winning the match. I was about to get so pissed if the referee uh, got Bubba Ray and Devon disqualified. For having a trombone on in on it in his hands, I swear to God, the referee, I would be like, you, you. I was about to say some nasty racist stuff to the referee, like, oh my God, like stereotypical stuff is like, motherfucker, you can't see shit with those fucking eyes. Yeah, you can disqualify him. Uh, I was gonna say stupid shit about the referee, but luckily he didn't disqualify. Nobody. He, he, the referee that said it. He said it himself. Oh, I didn't see him hit. Pause. I didn't see hit him. I didn't see. I didn't see him use the trombone on you. So how could I disqualify him? That's like, that's that's me assuming that he hit that he hit you with it. So good call by the referee. But then in the end, in the end, freaking Biggie uses the trombone himself and was able to win the match. So I don't think the Dudley Boys is getting a title shot in any time soon. I mean, he fight. They might do like a triple threat tag team, something. I don't know. I mean, last year they did a fatal four way match, so let's see what they're gonna do this year for survivors. Um, am I missing a match? Uh, let me think. Uh, I don't know. What what other match was there? Fuck, I can't remember. It had to do some. It had to do something. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me think about. It. We had Cena and Del Rio, Charlotte and Nikki Bitch. Roman and Bray, Team 3D, Kevin Owens, something, and Brock and Taker. There's a match I am missing on the card. Oh, the six-man tag team match, right? Is it? I think so. If not, could you tell me in the comments below what match did I am I forgetting? Anyways, that that pre-show people shit. You see, people shit on the pre-show matches sometimes. And yeah, it gets good. That pre-show match was good. That six-man tag. I mean, everyone was cheering. The Los Angeles crowd. The Los Angeles crowd was feeling it. So it was a, it was a, a nice, uh, nice uh, match. Uh, I, and I knew the baby faces was gonna win, so it was kind of obvious. Oh my God! I cannot believe I didn't. For, I forgot. Kane versus Seth Rollins for the WWE title. Well. Seth Rollins won. What do you want me to say? Cobra Kane is gone. Bye bye. I hope you guys enjoyed the this uh, reaction for my house, for the Hell in the Cell pay per view. If you can hit that like button below and subscribe for more. I'm not gonna talk about Brock and Taker because I have a reaction video for that. So if you guys want to see how I feel about what happened in the match, check that out. I'll put the link in the description below or on the card in the top right of your screen. I'm out later.